Hi, I'm Jody. I'm a registered nurse at Infusion Solutions, and I'm here to demonstrate how to use your syringe pump with your medication. What we want to do first is make sure that you have a clean surface, clean flat surface, and you have all your supplies. Syringe pump, you'll need your tubing for your medication. This is your medication. Saline, your alcohol wipes, and heparin, only if you need it with your access, with your IV access. And your nurse will definitely let you know if uh, your IV needs heparin. And first, we want you to make sure you have clean hands. So you can either use hand sanitizer or wash your hands with warm soap and water. The first thing we want you to do is prime the tubing. That means fill the tubing with your medication. There's two different end ends of your tubing, one blue and one white. We always say white to white, and a white end goes to your medication. The blue goes to your access device. And my access device is my peripherally inserted central catheter, which is a pick line, so that's my blue. So the first thing you want to do is both ends are capped, they're sterile. You don't want to touch them after you take the caps off. So be very careful and pull the caps off without touching the end. And you're just going to twist this on. Now you need to fill the tubing with your medication. So very gently you can push on the plunger of the syringe and you'll see it going through the tubing. And we'll see it drip out the end. And I can see the bubble and there's medication filling in that blue cap. So I know it's all primed. Your next step is connecting the syringe to your pump. To use the pump, you pull this lever and you'll be able to move it up and down. Sometimes it gets a little stuck. So make sure it's at the top so you can fit your syringe onto the pump. And I usually do this on my lap to stabilize the pump and it's a little bit easier for me. You'll want this edge of the barrel to go into this edge of the pump, like so, and it'll clamp on just like that. To move this lever, this is the thing that controls the rate of your medication. So. You'll pull it down and the edge is going to sit at the very top edge of the plunger. Make sure your rate is correct. So it'll be on your prescription label. It's medium, low, or extra low. And it will be labeled on this syringe barrel. I'll make sure it's on my right setting. And your pump, your tubing, and your medication is all set. You will have and IV access. With this IV access, um, I'll need to flush it, but please refer to the other video of the correct technique of flushing your IV access. So before I connect anything to my blue port, you'll need to wipe it with an alcohol wipe. You clean the end because it's not capped and you usually clean it for 15 to 30 seconds. You rub it vigorously because there's little grooves on there that bacteria can cling to and then you let it dry and it takes about one to two seconds to dry. Then with my flush, this cap, this is capped and underneath is clean So I want to push and twist on that access device, then I'll know it's in. With a pick line, I'm going to correctly flush mine, but make sure, just as a side note, to check the other flushing video to make sure you're correctly flushing your access device.
the reason why to flush is we want to make sure that your pick liner access device is not clogged. If I touch anything, this blue part to anything else, I'll have to re-wipe it again with alcohol. But since I didn't touch it, I can actually connect both pieces together. So I'll carefully take the blue cap off of my tubing with the medication in it. It's going to be the same push and twist. And I am set with the medication. So you'll have to turn on your syringe pump now. You have three settings. On, off, and on with the alarm. We want you to do the on with the alarm because then I'll know for sure when the medication has gone through the, through the line and the infusion is complete. So I'll press on with the alarm and the green light will be showing at the top to know that it's running. So I just turned it off because that sound means that your infusion has completed. So what I do is I press that lever, pull it to the top, take the barrel out, and that's what it looks like when it's completely done. The plunger is all the way down at the bottom. So now what you want to do is if you infuse more than once a day, this tubing that you connect to your access device and to the medication, you can use it for a whole 24 hours. So if you use it twice a day, then we want you to keep it in the refrigerator. So keep this part connected, because you'll just take this off and put it on the brand new barrel of a new medication syringe. And we'll take it off of your access device. I have a red cap here, so I'm going to cap the end of this because it's going to be open and you can put it straight into the fridge. So I'm going to let this access device go. Take this red cap out and it's kind of backwards. The smaller part of the cap connects on to the tubing and it's just a twist. So you'll twist that on and your tubing will be set to go in your refrigerator. You will want to flush your line because the rest of your line still has medication in it so you want that in your body. I'll use my alcohol wipe and don't forget to wipe it for 15 to 30 seconds. Vigorously. And sometimes I tell people to sing, row, row, row your boat in your head. If you sing it once, it's 15 seconds. If you sing it twice, it's 30. My normal saline syringe. And I'm going to take the cap off. It's sterile underneath there. Don't forget it's a push and a twist. I'll want to flush my pick line. You can just throw your other supplies out. And then, depending on if you need heparin, you would heparinize your access device only if you need it, if you were told to. But that is how you use your syringe pump and your medication, and you're done with your infusion. Thank you.